Logan. Um, back in 2005, there was a, an American movie made called Flags of Our Fathers. It was about the uh, American invasion of Iwo Jima. And obviously, they couldn't film it at Iwo Jima. So what they did was, they went to Iceland and they used a beach in Iceland to replicate the volcanic ash of Iwo Jima. And all the props, all the uniforms, were made in America, shipped out to Iceland. And quite a lot of the vehicles that they used in the film were sourced in England. Now, um, a guy who lives a couple of towns up the road, um, he supplied some GMC two and a half ton trucks for the filming. They were shipped out to Iceland. Uh, when the filming was done, he got the trucks back and the cargo beds of the trucks were literally strewn with discarded prop uniforms that they actually used in the film. Um, quite a lot of the American gators, the, the American leggings, um, were absolutely ruined because the uh, the metal the metal uh, eyelets that the lace goes round were completely rusted because they'd been immersed in the salt water. However, he kept quite a lot of the the American uh, U.S. Marine Corps repro uniforms, a lot of the Japanese uniforms, and he put bits together to make up complete uniforms and the guy sold them and I bought some of him and the ones that I didn't keep I sold out and I think there's a few of them in America anyway they, these are what I kept this is this is an accurate replica of the of the US Marine Corps uh, tunic as you can see it replicates the US Marine Corps printed insignia to the pocket it accurately you won't be able to see it but it accurately replicates the bronze plated buttons with US Marine Corps on them and it also replicates the cap but the insignia on the cap because because my, the items have been immersed in salt water so th there is quite a lot of stain into them and the, the cap is devoid of its insignia to the front it's all been washed out they're all replicas ma ma made in the States so that's the cap the the trousers again are accurate replicas of the US Marine Corps trousers even down to the US Marine Corps buttons the belt well the belt is just a uh, that's the kind of belt they wore under the uniform it's not an accurate representation of the original one it's just a belt and um, the uh, what they wore under the jackets were just uh, an olive green civilian uh, t-shirt that's what came with it but uh, but that's the US Marine Corps jacket that they had in the film. Um, and the Japanese, this is quite a bit stained. That's a Japanese uniform from the film as well. And what we see is the it's been used by the stunt people because it's been deliberately cut with a knife in places up there predominantly as well and behind there there would be blood bags and it would give the impression of the guy being shot and again it accurately repl replicates the trousers the shirt and in, in each pocket in each pocket of the tunic was a a guide to what's on in Reykjavik 2005 and also with the tunics came a flags of our fathers call sheet which says what needs to be where what vehicle needs there how many props are needed for the particular set so it's quite quite an informative thing um, 9 a.m. leave hotel 10 a.m. crew call um, all the the cast Ryan Philip John Doc Bradley on set at 10 30 a.m. He needs picked up at the Nordica Hotel at 8.30 a.m. And each, each uniform came with one of these. And it tells you, Flags of Our Fathers continued. Iggy and Hank land in the hall on top of two dead Marines. Now the machine gun fire that killed those two boys had them, has them pinned down flat. So it's got partial skipping as well. Easy Company is dug into shell holes. Quite, quite an informative thing. So these... These, which we'll have a look at, these, I'll go down and turn it around, I'll go down there, props 
formula filming and as you can see the US Marine Corps is a very accurate reproduction we've even got the US Marine Corps legend on the buttons and it's all the US Marine Corps uniforms but in this remarkably clean condition whereas the, Jap the Japanese one with it being battle worn is more is more of a a worn and torn condition from being immersed in the water and like I say it's been cut in places where it's been it's been cut in a kind of cross hatch fashion and blood bags have been put behind them and there's one there on the shoulder as well and they've been made especially in the United States for the film so I think these two are kept had labels in the neck of them so that's the Japanese one it's not camouflage it's just dirt with being used in the filming and that's the American one and those are from the 2005 uh, Flags of Our Fathers movie